So this is my torpedo heater. Uh, right now it's running on uh, the kerosene there. But what I got here is uh, waste motor oil that's being fed into this line. See it running out there and let's shut it off. Just a needle valve to fill up this bucket. Now it's getting preheated with this oil convection heater. Real cheap. You can get them anywhere, Walmart or whatever, cheap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this out of here and plug it onto the little nipple I have right here. Hopefully it now. Oh. There we go. He heard it lose it for a second. And then it's changed over and started siphoning out the waste oil. You can see flames a little lower. Puts out some serious heat still. But there it is, you standard torpedo heater. And it is running on a waste motor race motor oil. Um, might even be able to see if it draws it out of here to prove it for the non-believers. If you didn't, you know, just hear it fire out or anything while it was changed it over. But it's basically drawn through a elbow here and into the into the siphon nozzle. Again, I'm just preheating it. Using a oil heater. Just put a couple of holes in it, you know, one at the bottom, you know, to hook on the flow control, and then one at the top that's a fill and a, uh, a vent. Uh, eventually, this will be hooked up to a tank. Um, now, it's not a plan to totally run this indoors because I don't know how safe it is, but uh, I'm going to basically hook, you know, down the road, I, I'm going to hook this, uh, put the front into a 55 gallon drum, it's got the hole cut in it. And either run some pipes in it so that I can uh, basically get uh, trap, you know, get the heat out of it through the pipes going through the 55 gallon drum, like some four inch exhaust, uh, and have it blow a fan blow through it. Or I'm going to use a, like a radiator in front of this unit, a water pump, and then another radiator inside the garage to blow that hot water you know blow across that hot radiator and blow the warm air into the garage uh, i'm not sure what i'm gonna do yet but this was just a proof of concept to see if this thing would even burn waste mortar oil because there's been a lot of a lot of questions on forums and a lot of videos i've seen that haven't really had any uh real answer um and it definitely i mean it's not turned up too high i mean i can i can get a real flame out of it if i uh hold over my nozzle for the air. Um, this one's a nice unit. It does have an adjustable uh, screw on the back for the pump. And it had a gauge. Just, I got it for dirt cheap off a of buddy because this gauge was broken up here. I just two part epoxy that. Um, you can see it's running quite a bit higher for the uh, to suck up that oil even though it's pretty warm uh, maybe getting the oil this oil container higher up i could turn that nozzle down and let gravity help but like i guess i just just a proof that shows that it what it does and 